Alrighty on the sand. Here's a familiar face. Professor Red over there. He's starting to hang out on a, maybe a few too many of my hands, but anyway. <laughs> he's got an old mate, Selwyn. Now this old time here, he's 86 years old. And um, always dreamt of shooting that monster seeker stag like all of us. But I actually happen to know where there is a really big stag. And um, I've actually been chasing the stag for a couple of years, but about this time of the year, he goes nocturnal. He just goes into the bush. He's fresh, out of rubbing his antlers, out of velvet. So if we're going to get him, this is the week. We're um, sitting, keeping a really close eye on this country. There's a beautiful clearing in front of us, but the weather's kind of turned a bit crappy. Selwyn's um, wide awake. He's totally alert. <laughs> Unbelievable. That's um possibly one of the biggest stags that Selwyn's seen and he can't believe I won't let him shoot it. <laughs> but there is a bigger stag here. And I'd really like to see him get it, so what do you think about that, Selwyn? Like I said, unbelievable. taken a couple of sets so when the uh, moment happens he's ready. It's a pretty smart uh, plan I guess when uh, you got a young fellow like myself to keep an eye out for him. Patience paid off. Some sheep grazed onto our clearing but also a group of stags and with them was the big one I was hoping to find. And the little stag's pointing towards me. Correct. If he walks out of the way, do you want to close the bolt? Yeah. Is the bullet in it? Yes, there is. Right, I'm steady. Take, just close the bolt. I'm still on him. You see, he's coming out into the open yeah. there now. He's the one at the back on the right. Yeah. You go ahead and shoot him. Take your time. You hit him. Lift him up. Eject the shot. Okay. <laughs> oh, you down. I think oh. you just shot yourself a beauty oh, boy. I shit myself. <laughs> hey, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> it didn't start till I was hunting till I was 32. <laughs> I got my farm in order first and then I was away. Three times a year from Moore to Taupo. Look at that, eh? Oh, we love you, Phyllis. Thank you very much, Fabia. You're more than welcome. Ah, 
do you, have we got a placard we can hang up here? To it's guide? all getting tight tape right now. You're, you're, <laughs> you're guiding uh, your telephone number, Brian.